Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a combined uh, was that haul worth it and monitoring my beauty purchases. So was that haul worth it is where I look back on my purchases from one year prior and I talk about how I'm going with those products and monitoring my beauty purchases is recapping what I have purchased in the last month and why I chose to purchase it. So we're going to start with was that haul worth it. In July of 2021, feels like a lifetime ago, um, I picked up this guy. I'm pretty sure it was this one. I also have the cover pink, which I know I picked up, but I, I don't think it was in July. I'm pretty sure that was earlier in the year. Um, this is IBD Building Gel. It's in the shade Clear. And this was the first building gel that I found that I fell in love with essentially. So it is a clear um, LED or uh, UV light set nail product. You can use it as like a strength and structure overlay or you can use it to build like full um, fake nails basically. I've done both. These days I just use it as a strengthening and structure product. These are my own nails. I've managed to grow them out and keep them grown out thanks to this product. And there are some others that I use these days, but IBD was like my first love and it will probably be my main nail love <laughs> because I just love it. Um, I am actually wearing the cover pink at the moment and this has been like my go-to just because I can put it on and the nails look quite nice. Um, even if I don't have like a nail polish on, whereas the clear, it is crystal clear. So you can see any imperfections in the nails. I do have some broken nails that I've repaired using this. So you can see that um, when I'm wearing the clear. So I like to wear the clear when I'm also really enjoying painting my nails with different nail polishes. And I like to use the pink when I want to be a bit more low maintenance. Um, this stuff is fantastic. I love it. I will continue to buy it. I have bought others and I also look forward to experiencing like different brands in the future. I definitely like this is a type of product that's probably always going to be a part of my nail routine to some degree for the rest of my days for as long as I can do it. Um, so I definitely want to explore different brands and different you know products that are similar to this but I think I'll always come back to IBD because I already like I know the product I know how reliable it is if I run out of this I'm gonna buy another one to make sure that I always have it. 2021 was the year of me being obsessed with a product and actually I should say every year I'm obsessed with some sort of product I'm not sure what uh 2022's product is. Maybe I'm not really obsessed. Well, maybe the rest of uh, this video will tell you what I'm obsessed with, but I feel like every year I have something that I kind of hyper focus on, and 2021 was a year of hyper focusing on the Pharmacy Cleansing Balm. So, this is the Very Cherry Clean. I, God, have I even, yes, I have used it, not much though. Um, I bought a whole bunch of these last year. I'm pretty sure I bought five in total, three minis in like a holiday pack, and then two full size. I think I is that correct? I think so. I love this cleansing balm. It is a favorite of mine. It is obviously a solid cleansing balm. This one has like a almost medicinal like cherry scent. It reminds me of like a bit like Dr. Pepper or something like that, which, you know, I like. I don't think it's going to be everyone's favorite though. I do think this or it smells a bit like maraschino cherries i think it is going to be like an acquired scent for some people you're either going to love it or hate it um for me i really enjoy it now this is a solid balm um it like you take a little bit out of the tub and you warm it up in your hands use it to break down your makeup it rinses away with water really really clean and that is something that i just love about this particular type of product um there are a lot of cleansing balms on the market. I have tried countless different brands um, and I would have to say this is probably my absolute favorite, like top tier. Um, a lot of other cleansing balms 
you know, they can take a long time to break down makeup or they don't emulsify well. This one just ticks every single box for me. Breaks down makeup quickly, it's a nice thin formula, emulsifies and washes away from the skin really easily and cleanly and they have awesome scents. So I love this product. I have too many of them at the moment. Um, and I'm not really using them because I am trying to work through my other cleansing oils and cleansing balms so I can sort of curate my collection essentially and get it down to the ones that I really, really love, which is something I've been doing for a lot of years with a lot of my collection, as many of you will know. I would definitely buy another one of these if they brought out a scent that I was interested in. In fact, like, I would buy any of them, let's be fucking real. They've recently uh, released a peach one, which I can't buy. Um, pharmacy is proving to be really difficult to get in Australia. It used to be sold at Sephora. It's no longer at Sephora Australia. Um, used to be able to buy it from Beautylish. It's no longer on Beautylish. Uh, there is a few items on Beauty Bay, but none of the cleansing balms. And I think the only other place that I saw pharmacy was... Okay, I found it. It's Cult Beauty. Um, but again, they... I mean, they have a an okay range. Um, but they don't have, like, you know, they don't have the special new peach scent that I really want. Um, I actually suspect, and look, I discussed this with Madeline, I was like, here's my theory. Um, <laughs> I think potentially Mecca is trying to get pharmacy um, into their store. Since it's no longer available at Sephora, I think there is definitely something going on there. Sephora in Australia stocked pharmacy but never stocked a complete range as far as I was aware. So I'm wondering if um, Mecca is actually going to take over on like that front. But that it's really frustrating because that could take forever. So look i'm gonna try and find the peach one it might just take time to sort of dribble out to other online stores i would probably buy it um but if i can't get my hands on it it's not a big deal like i said i do have too many of them i just really like i love that product it's the best okay let's move on to purchases that i've made in the last month and why um i'm gonna start with this Nobody's surprised. I said I wanted it. I finally bought it. Um, it's a Too Faced Born This Way Sunset Stripped Palette. I've had this for a few days. I did like a joint order with Madeline. So um, I like I could have gone in store and just picked it up, but I wasn't really feeling in any rush. I purchased this, you know, not purchase purchased. Mm, I don't know. I'm having a bit of a brain fart today. I purchased this not to really review it i don't really review eyeshadow palettes anymore unless like brands send them to me um i i just purchased it for me because i like it um i have the original one which i really love this one is a bit more i feel like when i look at this i i think about coffee um the colors are fairly neutral um and then you've got a couple of like almost warm like red ish browns and then you've got some like darker ones down here. Um, I just really love the format of these palettes. I know I like the formula. Um, they're really compact, which is fantastic. And I, you know, I'm not about wasted space or chunky, bulky palettes these days. I like simplicity. I like this sort of layout. I like the color story. It's no surprise that I purchased this. I have not used it yet. I. I'm having a little staycation in Melbourne, um, like, next week. So I might keep this as my, like, travel palette. Um, usually I wouldn't travel with something this large, but it's a staycation. So I feel like I'm a little bit more flexible with what I can and can't take. A few more items that I purchased um, were makeup brushes. So... <laughs> It's no surprise that I spent a small fortune on Luxe makeup brushes this month because I did 
a brush video and whenever I do a brush video I always feel very inspired and get the urge to purchase more and the urge often wins um it's just it's one of those areas of like makeup for me that never really changes I am always super inspired by makeup brushes I have a very deep passion for them and while my makeup preferences and product preferences change over the years and you know I fall in love with things and fall out of love with them and then fall in love with them again that's not the case with makeup brushes it is constantly on my mind I love them they are the tools of my trade and um I always have room in my life for more makeup brushes. So I did pick up two brushes from Surat. Uh, let's start with the small one. This packaging is bougie, man. This is a fucking bougie brand. I'm not even kidding. These, these are expensive, ridiculously expensive brushes. Um, this little guy, and I, oh, I am a little bit triggered. I'm not going to lie. They come in these beautiful, beautiful boxes and they're very expensive and they're very luxe. Um, but the like the hairs I don't know if you'll really be able to tell with that one they're a little bit like Meh. um the brush was sort of like pushed up in the top of the box and I'm like mm, I've got to wash it I've got to put it in a brush guard I've got to do all of the things to like you know repair the brush so this one is a classic because you know bougie we can't just call it classic uh shadow brush petite and I mean, she is definitely petite. Uh, this is going to be a really good size for my eyes because my eyes are little. Um, I think what I like about this brush, like, it is, it's quite slim um, in, in both, you know, directions. Uh, but the hairs are a little bit longer than what I would typically see in a brush of this size. Let's focus on the brush, not on my face. Um, so I'm very excited to try this and it is exceptionally soft. So I am going to, I'm going to wash that one after this and do all of the things that need to be done to repair it and get it back to its like tip top shape. Uh, and the other one that I purchased, which very good, I cannot get it. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got it. Um, this one is, oh God, uh, everything's falling apart. Um, this one is, oh God, again, this one was like, can you stop? sticking to me please um this one was like pushed up against the uh the box so it's a little bit a little bit jacked up so i'll fix that it's fine uh this is the artistic uh smoky eye brush grande so it's meant to be i mean listen i ain't using this as an eye brush i i'm well i mean look never say never i will i might like try and do something with it one day but you can see like this bitch she's big um I'm thinking highlighter and also I've heard it's very good for setting under the eyes so that's what I'll be using it for um I just want to give like a little first impression on these brushes because they are so expensive I'm very um critical about luxe brushes and I've got to say these feel the handles feel absurdly cheap like there is no weight in them zero weight none at all none the all of the weight is the hair um, the handles feel like nothing so that is something to keep in mind um, a lot of luxe brushes are weighted in a very special way to make them um, basically perform at their peak these don't feel weighted at all like nothing so there's that I would definitely say that that yeah they just they don't feel like great quality um I also picked up a Sonia G soft definer which is this little baby here I love these types of brushes this um has a tapered tip and the bristles are very firmly packed which gives them uh quite a bit of structure which is really nice I think this is going to be great for like micro blending um and I've got to say um these are while they're very light, they still feel weighted to a degree, and I think it might have something to do with the ferrule, uh, which is really nice. Another one that I picked up, um, Smith Cosmetics. I'm pretty sure I uh, mentioned in my brush video that there was more that I wanted to try from Smith. 
Um, so I picked up one from, I think it was the Quill range. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, and this is very similar to the Sonia G. This is the 233 brush. I'll show you, I'll compare them. They're pretty much the same, but you know, I think, um, okay, you might look at these brushes and go, do you need both? They're redundant because they're so similar. And also I've got so many like this in my collection. But um, like I said, I love luxury brushes. I love to try new brushes. I love to add to my collection. And uh, when you work out what brushes work best for your face and the way that you do your makeup, you find that you're buying the same brushes over and over and over again because that's what works for you. So there we go, I picked up this one. And again, it's weighted, it's beautifully weighted. Um, and you know, these feel like nothing. So there's, there's that. But I am very excited to dip into all of these guys. They will be coming away with me when I go on my little staycation, which I'm very excited about. Um, now, another look. Ugh. Harping on about travel, I went to Perth this month and while I was there, um, I bought two things. So I forgot that my skin freaks out when I go on an aeroplane. Um, and <laughs> when I got to Perth, it was so incredibly dry and I was really struggling to like get the hydration back in my skin. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I should go buy some like rosehip oil and I kind of put it off, put it off. And then I was like, no, I've got to do it. So I picked up a bottle of my favorite Trilogy Rosehip Oil Antioxidant Plus. I'm so glad I did. My skin responded like instantly, which was fantastic. I shouldn't have waited. I should have just, I should have just bought it and, you know, just accepted that I needed it. Um, I think I was hesitant to buy, or not hesitant, I didn't want to buy it because I knew I had so many oils at home and I was like, why didn't you just bring a fucking oil? So anyway, I picked this up. I love this product. I've loved it for years. I've used multiple bottles. Um, and I'm not sad to have it in my stash, but I I need to work on finishing up some other oils first. Also, can you do your gardening on another day, please? Uh, the last item that I purchased was a treat yourself item. Um, I think this was, a, I feel like I'm missing something, but also I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, I went to Chanel. I wanted to buy, um, it was a product that they released not too long ago. Uh, let me see if I can find what it's called. It's the Water Fresh Tint. So um, it's basically, they say it's a Water Fresh Tint with micro droplet pigments. It's kind of like a, a serum with um, micro pigments in it and it works just like a tinted moisturizer basically they were out of stock of my shade so um i did pick up something else instead the lady at chanel was really helpful she's like do you want me to put together a sample for you and i was like yes please i'd like to actually try it on my skin um and while she was doing that i was browsing other things and i found this and I bought it. It is a Vita Lumiere uh, Radiant Moisture Rich Fluid Foundation. This has been around for a long time and as far as I'm aware it was it always got good reviews and I look I never tried it because I in the past had oily skin um, and also I liked something a little bit more full coverage whereas this is a step up from a tinted moisturizer I would say the coverage is quite low when you like blend it out on the skin you know you can still see the skin through it it gives like very minimal perfecting well not minimal actually I'd say light sort of perfecting um, effect to the skin because my skin was so dry at the time I was kind of struggling with the foundation that I'd taken away with me and I was also like I was really looking forward to buying a Chanel product today this looked like a really good option I mean you can see it looks like nothing on the skin I'm really enjoying those low coverage um, skin products these days that are just really hydrating, give the skin like a nice glow, makes it look healthy, comfortable for me to wear. Uh, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. Your girl's taking home a Chanel product. 
so I did. So that is everything that I purchased in the last month and my thoughts on the items that I picked up a year ago and how they're going for me now. If you guys can remember what you picked up a year ago, let me know your thoughts on them now and let me know what you picked up this month and why you chose to purchase it. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.